Welcome to Have a Happy Arty Time. My name's Jeanette and my project today is making some fun little booklets. I'm going to be using an A3 sheet of paper and I'm going to jelly plate print all over both front and back of the paper and then turn that into a little booklet which will be able to place some lovely inspirational messages within that. And I'm going to be using some simple cheap poster paints Montmartre in three colours green, yellow and pink and I'm going to be using some of my homemade soft foam stamps and I'll show you how to make those in another video but for now I'm going to be using some flower shapes, daisy shapes, some leaves, some dots and that should make this look really pretty so let's begin. This A3 paper is around 100 GSM and it is actually sketchbook paper. So I find it makes a lovely uh, thin booklet. And I'm also going to be creating some of these shapes over here on my roll off sheet so I can cut them out later and stick them into my booklet as well. So let's see what we get. Lovely. Going to continue to do the same on this section as well as on the back before we add our yellow. Okay, yes, so we've got some more areas. I don't want to cover all the white because we do need some white, but I will just 
put a little bit on there, a little bit down there, just so we have some covered there. And I think maybe a little bit on here. Yep, that's good. Maybe a little bit more there. And yes, we have exactly what we need now. And we're going to let this dry. And we're going to make a little booklet. So our paper is dry to make our journal. Now before I do this, I'm going to use my homemade jelly plate. Um, I do have paint on the other side of it for another project. So I've just turned it over. And I'm just going to make my tapes. So I know people use washi tape and all different sorts of tapes, but I like to use the plain masking tape and I actually paint it up on my jelly plate with design and colours that match my projects. So I'm going to show you how I do that and our booklet, I'm actually going to be making two books from this one sheet and so they'll be the half size of this sheet. So I'll just stretch this out. To about there. Now I'm going to paint on the dry side, not the sticky side, and then I just stick this on my light and it hangs up and dries while I'm doing the rest of the project. A little bit of pink, a little bit of green. And so we have another piece of tape that I'll be able to use. Now I was going to use a little bit of yellow on this. So a little bit of yellow. And I'm just going to add by touching my roller down. Just in it. I don't want too much yellow. Just a tiny bit. Just to brighten up the booklet. Okay, so that's that side. Now, what I'm going to do is first of all, fold this paper in half. And it's going to look like and start out like an accordion fold in a sense. Now I'm getting this side and I'm just going to fold it back this way. And I'm getting this one and I'm going to fold it back this way. I'm going to try, them, try to get them as even as possible but we will be cutting it so and remembering we will be making two booklets. This will be eventually cut down the middle. Now what we want to do we have a fold here that is going to be cut along here because what we're going to do is we're going to stick these two together with a piece of our tape. So first of all I'll stick this down. Remember the side we're cutting is the triangle side that is up in the air. Okay so this side where the triangle side is dipped down is the side that we will be putting our tape on. So I've got some our tape that should be fairly dry and I'm going to just place that onto our piece of work. And I'm going to fold this over and just pat that down there. And you can see that our tape matches in fairly well. And we might add a little bit of yellow, but there will be some embellishments and things going on top of there. So here I am going to cut this side and I'm hoping that everything works accordingly. And I'm thinking it may have. So what's happened is it has now opened up that inner page. And all we do is turn this inside out, put another piece of tape down this side and we will have our booklet. So I'm just going to run the other piece of tape that I made. I'm not sure if I made this long enough. I will add a bit in later and run that down there. I think it's, it's still wet. Oh dear. 
and I will add a piece onto that. Close our booklet over again and there we go. Now we know that we're making two booklets so what we need to do is halve this and snip off this bit of tape and then we will have two that we will work on and I will show you one and you know that the second one is worked on the same. Also I'll be cutting out these little flowers leaving some white around them and they will uh, go to enhance our project. And these were our roll off sheets. Okay, so I will fast forward the video and, and move along. I will also be making little pockets inside of here and I'll show you in one that I've completed prior. So when we open this up, we're able to make a little pocket and then make a little area for an inspirational verse or quote or message to whoever you'd like to send this to. So in these sections here, I will be making the pockets out of these as well. Now I've finished cutting out all the flowers and leaves and also the little corner pockets that we'll be placing inside our books. And I'm just going to mark now the length of our little tags that are going inside the booklets. And we need six of these. Okay, let's start the fun part of decorating our little booklets. So here we go. We can flick it over, choose which side we would like the front to be. So I'm looking here and I'm thinking, okay. So that's a beautiful front page so I'm going to just open this up now let that dry on the other side and I'm going to add our corner pieces in to this little booklet and show you how I do that and if I grab a little card we can place those down in there To hold our lovely message of hope, inspiration and, and love. Got those there. Now we can actually decorate in here. So I'll just go ahead now and I'm going to... Uh, Put some dots down here with a white gel pen and highlight a few things. And I might even get out some Prismacolor pencils or some intense pencils and just colour in around here as well. And of course I'll do these other ones off camera and just show you what they look like at the end. And here we have something really pretty. And when we open our cover, we've got our little tags and our little messages. And I'll work through the rest of the book and show you the finish at the end. I've had a great time finishing off these little booklets. And I'm just going to stick my last little centre in a flower here. And I just want to show you what I do if my book is a little uneven. So we've got that one there. And of course, we can just snip off anything that's hanging over on the outside edge. And that's fairly simple here. Now, if our book is a little wonky, not quite as straight as we would like it, we can simply cut the edges of this book to even everything up. So I usually do that at the end. So make sure we've got that down nice. Now I can see I've got a couple here that aren't quite right hanging out a little bit so if I put that right on the edge and just give a little cut okay that's nice and straight and I'll just turn my board around here and I can see that on the end here I have a little bit of a problem just on one edge and we'll just snip that edge and I need to do a couple of passes by so we've been able to straighten our edges beautifully and here we have them 
a little booklet. So just a quick flip through. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this process and I wish you a happy arty time. Stay safe. Bye for now.